The American Scientific Institution of the United States presents Part 76 in its 92-part miniseries, The Naturally Occurring Elements. This week, we present Osmium. And now, host Alan Wingard. Oh, huh. hello there. I'm Alan Wingard, and welcome to The Naturally Occurring Elements. Let me tell you, audience member, you are in for a real treat this week, as this week we take a look at my favorite element of all time, Osmium. Before we get into the real juicy information about Osmium, Let's take a look at some basic information, shall we? On the periodic table, osmium is located in group 8, period 6, meaning it's a transition metal. The symbol of osmium is OS and it has an atomic number of 76. The atomic mass is 190.2 atomic mass units, while the molar mass is 190.2 grams per mole. The mass and the atomic numbers show that an atom of osmium contains 76 protons, 76 electrons, and 114 neutrons. The atomic radius is 135 picometers, and here's a near full. The electron configuration of osmium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10, 4F14, 5S2, 5P6, 5D6, 6S2. Here, let's take a closer look at the orbital notation of osmium. I'll let you know some basic information. Let's take a look at the physical properties of the one and only osmium. Osmium has a melting point of 3,327 Kelvin and a boiling point of 5,300 Kelvin. The density is 22.590 grams per centimeter cubed and its physical state at standard temperature and pressure is solid. Alright history fanatics, can anybody tell me the history of osmium? No one? <laughs> Figures. I guess I'll have to tell you. Osmium was discovered in 1803 in London, England by Smithson Tennant. Tennant dissolved newly discovered platinum in a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acids called agua regia. What was formed was a dark, insoluble residue. Tennant examined this residue and concluded that it was a whole new metal, and he named it... Osmium. Ah yes, that story gets more and more exciting every time I recite it. Now viewer, you may be asking yourself, how was this element used? Well have I got an answer for you. Osmium is used for many interesting practical purposes. It can be used to detect fingerprints and stain fatty tissue from microscope slides. It has also been used in fountain pen tips, instrument pivots, electrical contacts, and phonograph needles. Small amounts of osmium is also used in surgical implants, such as pacemakers and replacement pulmonary valves. Oh, now that we know how the element is used, I'm sure that you can agree with me the osmium is probably one of the most important elements ever discovered. Now, let's take a look and see what types of compounds osmium is capable of making, shall we? Osmium can form compounds when it's in its oxidation states. This may only happen if it reacts with a base, though. The most common compound form is osmium tetroxide. It's used for staining tissues for electron microscopes. Osmium can form ionic compounds when it reacts with chlorine. Thus the ionic compound would be called osmium chloride. Many oxidized compounds have yet to be synthesized with osmium. But other compounds that can be made are osmiridium, triosmium dodecarbonyl, and decacarbonyl dihydride otriosmium. There you go. You now know everything you're ever going to need to know about osmium. But, if you have the urge to do some more research, feel free to pick up my book, Osmium, 
the world's greatest element. Available wherever books are sold. Oh, and there's one thing I failed to mention. If you come across any osmium anytime soon, be cautious. The element is very toxic, so... You can't touch this. He's right. Can't Don't touch it. Thanks for joining us this week on another exciting episode of the Naturally Occurring Elements. Join us next week as we take a closer look at Iridium. On behalf of the American Scientific Institution of the United States, I'm Alan Wenger, and I hope to see you again. Let's take a look at that basic information about my most favorite element and ice cream with that one. Just keep going. Oh, hello there. I'm Alan Wenger with the Naturally Occurring Element. Oh, hello there. I'm Alan Wenger, and welcome to the Naturally Occurring Element. And this is coming. One of the most important elements ever discovered. And Chris is coming downstairs again. Figures. Chris, make up your mind!